Assisted Living Southwestern Ontario's new website was designed with your accessibility needs in mind. So if we pull up the ALSO's new website, if you see at the top right corner, there will be an orange circle with a person in there. If you hover the mouse over it, it says Accessibility Menu. So we're going to click on that, and up comes a bunch of options that will help you navigate our website. So when you first open the menu, you will notice a variety of different options. But right here at the very top, if you do need this menu to be bigger, you can click Oversize Widgets. It's currently off. So if we click it on, that will make these options larger. So the first option we have is Contrast. Now Contrast, you're going to have three options here. Well, actually four. So you're going to have the normal view, which we start off with, if we click contrast once, it's going to invert. Okay, and now here on the menu it says invert colors. And if you can see here, there's three dashes at the bottom. So that means there's more options if you keep clicking. So right now we're on inverted colors, which basically makes it, instead of black on white, it makes it white on black. Um, if you click it again, this is a dark contrast, so it eliminates any of the pictures, um, it makes the text green and the background black, and if we click it one more time, there is a light contrast. So similar to the dark contrast, this just eliminates everything and makes it um, black text on a white background. The next option you're going to see is highlight links. So, pretty self-explanatory, if we click it, what it's going to do is going to highlight and underline any text that is a link. So, as you can see up here in the menu, it has highlighted it, it's made it yellow, and it's underlined it. And if you don't want that, just click it again and it will turn off. The next thing we're going to look at is the bigger text. So when you come up on the website, this is the standard default size. But as you click it once, twice, three times, four times, so you have literally five different options of text size. And that will change for you in the website. And it will not mess up with um, any of the layout for you. And after the bigger text option, we now have the text spacing option. So if you look down here in the text, we can click it and it will get wider, more space in between. So there's three clicks available here. So you basically have four options of text spacing. The next option is actually pause animations. I don't believe we have any animations on the site currently, but if we did, you can turn them on or off depending on what you want. The next option we're going to look at is the dyslexia friendly option. Now as you currently see right here, it's just using the default text from your browser. Now if you are dyslexic, you can click this option. And it will make the text easier for a person with dyslexia to read. So that's the first option. Now the second option, they're calling it legible fonts. Now what it did is it made all this text a very basic aerial text. Now you're not going to see much change on our website because we do use a very legible text. So as you can see right here, it's Arial, and if I click it back to our original, it just kind of changes it to Verdana. So not too much of a change, but on a website that might use a lot of different fonts, some fonts are harder to read, so that option just clears all those fonts out and keeps it to a regular Arial text. We are now going to look at the cursor option. And if you click once, it's going to make a big cursor. Now, if you click twice, 
it comes up with something called a reading mask. So what it is, you can move your mouse up and down and basically just highlight what you want to read little bit by little bit. So this will make it easier to read for some people. It allows you to slow down your pace and also it kind of highlights what you are reading. Now another option, if we click again, is reading guide. It's the same type of thing, but it just comes up with a line here, almost as if you were reading with a ruler on the book. This just allows you to follow a line and keep with what is being typed out rather than possibly reading the same line twice. The next option is tool tips. It's pretty self-explanatory. But currently it's off. Put my mouse over here, nothing happens. But if I do turn it on, um, when I put my mouse over here, it's going to tell me, okay, name it. It's required for this form. Email is required for this form. Comment or message optional. So it's going to help you and tell you different tips on using the website. So the next two options we have are going to help you view this body text um, differently and you can basically pick what is easiest for you to read. So line height, you can do 1.5 times, 1.75 times, or two times. Or if you just wanted to go back to the normal, click it again, and that's the normal. Now, text align, very similar. Right now it's on left justified, which is the default. Click it once. Okay, it's going to go aligning everything left. So it just uh, aligned the title there. Click it again, align right, align center, align justified, and then going back, and that's the default. So the final main option we're going to look at is saturation. So what saturation is, is how much color is going to be on the website and how bright or vibrant the color is going to be. So this is a good page here, our neighborhoods of care. So if you look at this, this is the default color. We click saturation once. It's going to be a low saturation. So it's not gray and it's not color, but it's kind of an in-between, a very dull set of colors. If we click it again, high saturation. So it's completely the opposite, very bright and vibrant colors. Click it again, desaturate. So completely remove all the color. So now you have a black and white website. So you click it one more time and it goes back to the default. So there are two more options at the bottom. So let's say we have um, a big cursor, bigger text, more spacing, and let's make it super bright. Now if that's how you like it, great. But after you're done, you might want to reset it. So we click it once. It's going to reset everything back to the default. And finally, at the very bottom of this menu, there is the Move slash Hide Widget. So we click on that. By default, the widget here is going to be on the right. If you don't like that, you prefer it on the left. Click that, it goes to the left. And if you don't like it at all, you can hit Hide. And it will completely remove it.